Sculpting folds in clothing could be really intimidating at times. It's very difficult to understand exactly where to put the folds, but if you follow a couple of simple ideas and thoughts behind how cloth actually drapes on the body, you'll find it's actually quite easy. It just takes a bit of practice and trial and error. So there's a variety of different folds that clothing will attain. The first is a gravity fold or a pull where the fabric is being pulled by gravity in a downward position. And so for that, you're going to have somewhat of a tightness in the fabric from the top portion of wherever it is, whether it's on the waist or the arm. And then it's going to drape and flow towards the bottom where the weight of the fabric is hanging. Another type of fold is going to be a stress fold one that is, for example, uh, in the crotch area of the pants where it's being pulled in, in almost in a fan-shaped pattern. And then you have some relaxed folds or crisscross folds which occur within the inside part of the elbow or the inside part of the knee. Those folds tend to be a little bit more of a wrinkle because the fabric is being bunched up in one certain area. And then you have fabric that actually conforms to the human anatomy. It's not really a fold, but it's essentially following the bone or the muscle of the kneecap or the upper leg. And so for those type of folds, you want to really just follow it along as if you're sculpting in the naked torso and then cut back in with a couple of pulls in various areas, such as just below the knee. One of the easiest ways of doing folds, of course, is to work in both the Z add and the Z sub. So you're either pushing in or pulling out. And if you do that side by side of one another, you'll create somewhat of a crease pattern. Come back into it with either the pinch brush or perhaps the mech A brush, depending on what stage of the sculpt you're at. And this will form a nice clean line. So just like sculpting the character's head, I want to pretty much do the same process where initially I'm massing out the mesh to determine exactly where the folds will be. Initially I'll start out with an X symmetry throughout just to get a base laid in. And then I'll turn off the X symmetry because I definitely want my folds to be asymmetrical and have a lot of uniqueness to each side. Just be aware that when you work in asymmetry, when you begin to start pulling stitches later on, you'll also have to sculpt the stitches asymmetrical, otherwise some of the stitches will get lost, or any of the detail actually that you go over the geometry will get lost because your model is no longer symmetrical on both sides. So that's very important to point out because it'll also affect your polypane. It's a decision you have to make early on, whether you want to go through that amount of trouble or not. You could turn on pose symmetry, but pose symmetry tends to slow down a little bit. So once I have the cloth folds where I want them to be in massing, I'll come back in now almost exclusively with the Mecca brush, and I'll just take my time. Once again, like I did the character's hair, I'm going to gently sculpt in and out and follow the flow pattern. I'm also going to be aware not to continuously pull parallel lines of the same thickness. If you do, then the model is going to look very robotic and it won't have a uniqueness and flow to the style of the fold. So you want to be aware of that. Never really pull the same type of line on both sides, but always try to pull something thicker or thinner uh, and, and continue that pattern throughout. I'm going to really pay special attention to the kneecaps because this is one of the areas of the pants that are going to be very noticeable in the final character and so I want to definitely make sure that I have a nice hard chiseled edge uh, within the kneecap at the bottom of the pants. And finally I'll add some mech A cuts to the back of the knee defining some of the crease patterns. You'll notice any time that you have a crease fold you'll want to do somewhat of a crisscross, even an X-shaped pattern 